Hi, Jim Hartman here from Proclaim AV, and today we're going to be talking about HDMI. This is going to be a basic video, and we're going to talk about some of the problems of HDMI. However, we're not going to solve them all, but we can get to that in a later video. Let's check it out. So this is a little different format for me. Today we are at Pear Park Baptist Church in Grand Junction, Colorado. It's home of KCIC-FM um, and also a wonderful uh, church if you're looking for a church in Grand Junction. And so we're here uh, working on their sound system and helping them out with some uh, sound system training. So glad to be here and glad to shoot a video here. So today we're talking about HDMI. So what is HDMI? Well, HDMI is a high definition media interface. That's what it stands for. But you and I generally know what it is. It's a small cable that carries digital video and audio between our DVD player and our television, for example. But there are a lot of things going on with HDMI that we don't really know about. And I want to talk about two of them. First is HDCP. So when HDMI was invented, one of the things that people were very concerned about, mostly content producers like movie companies, is that people would copy the digital stream from their DVD player and make a data file and burn a bunch of copies. So they came up with an idea to build the copy protection into the cable and the HDMI standard. And they called it HDCP, High Definition Copy Protection. Well, this sounded like a pretty good idea, but as we'll see in a minute, it had some other ramifications. The other thing that was built into the HDMI standard is something called EDID. That stands for Extended Display Identification Data. Now, this is something that's been around for a while. It had been around for a while on computers. So it wasn't that unusual. But let's talk about each one. When you plug your DVD player into a television, for example, a couple of things happen. Your devices have a conversation. Yeah, really. They talk to each other. And so what happens is, let's say we plug a DVD player into a television. So the DVD player says to the television, Hi, I'm a DVD player, and I'm HDCP compliant. Are you HDCP compliant? And the television says, Yes, I'm HDC compliant. And they handshake. They say, OK, we can work together. The next conversation that your two devices have goes something like this. The uh, DVD player will say, Hi, I'm a DVD player and uh, my maximum resolution is 1080p. What about you? And the display will talk back and say, well, you know, I'm a display, but my maximum resolution is 720p. Do you think we could do 720? And the DVD player says, yeah, that's not a problem. I can do 720p, and they agree. And the DVD player puts out 720p to your 720p display so that everything works together. Now, all this happens in the background. The only thing you do is you plug a cable into each device, and you sit there and go, hmm, and all of a sudden, boop, your device pops up. Now, this little conversation can cause all kinds of trouble when we do something other than a one-to-one -one connection. That means one device connected to one display, whether that display is a projector, a flat panel television, or whatever, and whether the device is a, um, a DVD player, uh, maybe a Blu-ray player, or sometimes even a laptop. So the issue when you do something with HDMI, let's talk about splitting it. Let's say that you're a church and you say, hey, I have a, uh, I want to put my HDMI up to a display in the back, and then I want to send it to a display in the front. Well, this is all well and good. Except that when you plug your device in, now you have two display devices trying to talk back to the questions or the queries that are sent out from the player. Well, things are going to go astray. Trust me, things are going to go astray. So a lot of times what will happen is one device may work and the other one may not work. And that's because the one of the devices is not um, compatible with the resolution that the display device or that the sender device has picked 
or it can be because you have an HDCP compliance problem um, with your splitter. Now when you plug a splitter in, it's a device also, and if it's not HDC compliant, you may have issues. Now, it's going to be really hard for you to find an HDCP compliant splitter. Splitting HDMI is generally a problem. Sometimes it works okay, but the low-cost splitters or distribution amplifiers that you find on Amazon are going to give you all kinds of problems. And you're going to run into issues over and over again. Every time you power on all your devices, they're having this conversation all over again. And sometimes you get a totally different result. It's hard to have a consistent result. One of the things you can do to try to help is to do displays that all have the same resolution. Now, while that works most of the time, a lot of times you'll end up fiddling with things, plugging or unplugging devices, trying to get everything to light up. This is because HDMI was not designed to do what we're trying to do with it today. So what do we do? Well, I have a couple of solutions. But maybe in the meantime, this will help you figure out what's going on with my HDMI? Thanks for watching.